All right, here we go. We are fresh off the pallet. I just went and picked it up. Solar air conditioner outdoor unit DWB3 AC DC 24K. It is white. Um, this is the main unit. That is the head unit that the uh, the piping goes up to and connects through up there. So let me go inside the house and let me show you uh, what I got set up for that and I'll be right back. All right, so we got the unit uh, turned upside down so that we can get to the back side of it. This is the plate that you need to take out because that's the plate that you need to mount up there somewhere so that you can stick it to it. So it's like just these clips here and there was a screw here that I had to undo and I'm just guessing that's for shipping because you wouldn't be able to put that on once you stick the unit to it. So here is your template. You would, you're gonna mount that up in there somehow. I've got some two by fours and a piece of board that I need to cut, cut up to, to match this piece. And then once I do, I can put that in there. Um, this was laid over this way. I just bent it over because, I mean, it's gotta stick out the, the wall, right? Um, and this is your drain. And according to the internet, you want this to be on the same side as your cooling pipes. So what you got to do is there's a little a little clip down there that you need some needle nose pliers for. Okay. And what you'll do is, is you'll pull this little piece out, swap them, put that piece over on the other side, tube over here. And uh, let me get that done. I'll be back. I was actually wrong. They changed this since the last video that I saw. See how it's got that little hook on it? So what you'll do there's a, a little elbow on it there and you'll, so you'll push this on like that and then spin the metal clip until it is on just like that and we're good to go. And here's the plug that I pulled out. We just gotta shove him down in the hole there. Might help if I spit on it first. get in there all right I'll be let me get that in there I'll be back uh, it turns out that I screwed up um, when I did the measurements for this it was when I was looking at the measurements for the 12k unit so this big behemoth some bitch is not gonna go up there luckily though I planned I bought also bought a board that I can mount on that window there using that lip with screws and uh, I can drill a hole through the board and run the AC lines out through that window there. I took out the pieces for this um, to make it go in and out so it'll pop out. <clears throat> that is plan B for now. So uh, let me run outside and I'll show you the mini split sitting on the cargo hitch. All right. That is how it will live until one day we put it on a house. But yeah. And uh, I'll probably just coil the lines back here, tie them to the step there. And like I was saying, just run them up straight through there and everything should work fine. Anyway, um, I gotta go cut the board to size for that window on the inside and I'll be back. All right. Got my handy dandy little saw here. We're just gonna take, try to make that curved edge that's on the inside of that window in there. Um, and the other edges should be straight, right? Let's just pretend like this is a perfect world and things are how they're supposed to be. Anyway, so I'm gonna cut this off. I'm gonna go test fit it on the window here. Um, let's see what, how it works. What do you think? I don't think that's half bad for being free-handed. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna fix that up a little bit. I, I used uh, I used it, the oscillating saw like this after I cut it from straight down to kind of get that edge. There's a little bit there. Let me go ahead and snap that off real quick. All right, so I cut the board to match. Um, I didn't cut it, so like the little window part goes along like here-ish somewhere. Um, I went ahead and just let it go all the way up so I'd have more spots to anchor the screws to. It is pretty solid. Um, did the measurement, 
cut my little hole over there with a two and a half inch hole saw. Um, now I need to uh, open up the front of this and wire this wire right here into it. Um, I don't do this first. Don't bend this out first before you put the wiring in. It, it's just a pain in the ass that I'm finding out right now. Because, um, let's see if I can do this one-handed. But to get to where those wires are, see that's the back, this is the front. It needs to be on the front. You need to take off all the tape that's over here. And uh, over here on the edge, there's a spot to lift that up. Now, if that was flat the way it came in shipping, I could just lay it on its back and this would be a whole lot easier, but like a dumbass, I bent it out. So now I've got to do it like this, a pain in the ass. I'll be back. All right, so I just stood it up on its end like that and uh, took all that tape off and like I said, pops that out. And you've got a screw here that you got to get out and then you got to fish the cable through the back into here and then make the connections. Let me open that up and I'll show you. Okay, so the end of the wiring that looks like this with the connectors that would slide into those slots. That's the side that you want to fish through the back somewhere, right? See, yep, see that hole right there? You're going to fish it through there and then up through the, the outside and uh, you're going to make the connections. And they literally made it idiot proof because look, that says two, that says one, and the black one there says three on it. I don't know if I can get you a shot. See, there you go. And those are numbered one, two, three. And the green is obviously the ground that goes right there. Anyway, so let me fish that through, get it connected, and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, once you get the wires screwed in there, you just close that panel back up, and then you just set it on the, the mounting bracket that you had mounted to wherever you had it mounted because obviously you're not gonna be doing it in a fifth wheel like me, or maybe you will, I don't know. Anyways, let's go outside. All right, first things first, you wanna click connect your electronics. Um, I will not be running mine off of 240 for now. It will only be solar, so um, this is the wiring to connect to the head unit to tell the air conditioner to turn on and all that jazz. Um, if you were gonna have 240 connected to it, you would connect it here. All right, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this panel back up and then we will get to connecting the AC lines here in a second and I'll be back. Okay, so it was one screw right here to get the uh, panel off here. Now, um, this is the newer unit. This is the plug and cool unit. So um, aside from making sure that that hole up there um, gets uh, filled in with putty. They, they supply you with some putty and some stuff like that. Um, but to make sure that hole where all those, uh, where that hose and the piping is coming through needs to get sealed up. And then basically you're just connecting, um, you're gonna coil it up in the back somewhere to where it's out of the way because this is way longer than what you're gonna need. I mean, you could be mounting it 15 feet away like, like the length that they give you. But anyway. So it's just should be as simple as just connecting the, the hoses there and uh, cracking open the refrigerant to uh, fill the system. So uh, let's get that far and I'll be back. Okay, so these hoses are idiot proof. That says quarter inch, that's a quarter inch pipe. That says half inch, that's a half inch pipe. So you don't screw them into the wrong spots. All right, so I got uh, started wrapping it. Um, I'm gonna take and I think I'm going to zip tie that uh, the drain to the power cord because it's just gonna drip down like right here somewhere. But um, yeah, so now um, you remove these caps here and you do one at a time. It's an Allen wrench, it's uh, counterclockwise and you counterclockwise it until you seat it and then you put this cap back on and tighten this back up snug. And then, I think I'm done, y'all. Aside from getting those solar panels out of their boxes and running them in series, uh, yeah, I think I'm done. So uh, let me kick this in gear because like it is over 100 here today. So I've been 
dying to get this thing installed. So let, let me kick this in gear and uh, I'll be back. Oh, I've got a plan for this. Don't worry. I know that this needs to be like covered or something. And I'm gonna get some of that uh, Reflectix, I think, and I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna wrap it up so to keep the sun off of it. But uh, yeah, let me get to the solar panels and I'll be back. All right, I already released the top one, but we'll do the bottom one for you. So we're gonna go counter. All right, counterclockwise. All right. And we're gonna stick it in here and give it a little snug in the seated position. And we'll tighten this back up and per the instructions, snug. There we go, snug. All right, this thing is charged. This thing's ready to go. I need to rewrap that because I unwrapped it to make damn sure that those connections were tight. So it's, it's real hot out here today and I, I've been forgetful when it gets hot. So I unhooked that to remake sure that it was tight, made sure these were tight. I did that three times, I double, triple checked. The refrigerant is released. Now we just need to get those solar panels rocking and rolling and then I can get some uh, air conditioning for the second half of the day. I'll be back. All right, it is the next day. Uh, I finished this last night, but man, I was just so beat. But um, so yeah, we've got our main positive over here and we got our main negative over there. And these solar panels here, these bigger ones, they don't have the really long MC4 connectors, wires on them, it, and they come out the middle. So it only has like maybe six inches of wire for the positive and then the negative is, as you can probably imagine, on the other side of the panel. And like that, the line down the middle is basically where the wiring follows. And then so positive to negative to positive to negative, da 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 da. And then I had to make a wire to go from there to there because, like I said, the wires are real short. So boom across and then all the way back down to the main negative. And uh, like I said, these are 370 watt panels, um, but it is working, it is cooling. Let me walk in the house and show you. All right, so this is it. It is on. It has been running since 7 o'clock this morning. Um, it is set right now currently at 61 degrees. Uh, we can use look at the app here. And as you can see, 575 watts are coming in. There's close to 3,000 on the ground out there um, because we want to transfer this system to our uh, double wide that we ordered whenever that does get here, you know, in a million years. Uh, but let me walk over and show you our uh, weather station. So it is currently 74 in here and it is 85 outside. The fan on the mini split is on low right now. And you can feel it as far back as standing on the steps. We have a humidifier going too. But uh, you can feel the, the cold air blowing at you from the steps back there. And I am thrilled. It's only... 7.51 in the morning now, and this is amazing. Look, here's the time. Anyways, you can see how bright the sun is because it's just coming up over there. But anyways, this is a success. I love it already. I can only imagine how great it's going to work in the middle of the day. But uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.